Hey guys, I have a good old fashioned haul for you today. I purchased a few more things before the Sephora sale ended, uh, some other things, but most of this is PR. Uh, but let me go ahead and start with the things that I have purchased. So the few additional things that I purchased at Sephora before the sale ended, one is uh, from Supergoop. This is the resetting powder. It's 100% mineral powder and it has an SPF 35. And I have already actually used this once uh, because I'm terrible, terrible at reapplying SPF. I have, I think, finally gotten into the habit of applying it every morning. That, that took long enough. But reapplying it, just something I never do. So I actually was given the opportunity to talk to a, a wonderful dermatologist and I said, you know, what are your suggestions? She said, if you have a full face of makeup, because that's, that's really my concern. If I don't have makeup on, whatever, I'll just slather some more SPF on, no big deal. But I said, if you have like a face of makeup on and you don't want to redo your makeup, like what do you do? And she said, your best bet is to get some powder. Uh, SPF. So I do have some other powders with SPF in them, but I don't think they have 35. I think they have like a lighter coverage. And I really, you know, I, I'm getting older. I live in Vegas. The sun, you know, when, when I want to reapply, like after lunch is so strong. And when I go for a walk, when I take the dog for a walk, it's, it's just, it's like almost unbearable. So I got this 35. I think there are of course other ones with more SPF in there, but I thought I would try uh, this one. This just kind of caught my eye and many of you actually recommended this. So here is what the packaging looks like. We've got all the powder down here. This whole thing is a cap and you can twist to open and close. And then this is like a brush guard that comes up and down. And in terms of powder, it's fine. You know, it just kind of mattifies my face a little bit. And by the time I am reapplying SPF, like, you know, early, mid afternoon, I don't mind a little mattifying. It really is very translucent. I don't feel like it, you know, kind of changes the, the look of my makeup or anything. So I'm really happy with this so far and I'm glad I picked this up. I also decided to pick up the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer. And I was very interested in this. And I, you know, I just, I had so many things kind of like in and out of my cart. And uh, a friend of mine here on Instagram, he actually recommended this. He was like, look no further. If you, if you wanna go with the cream bronzer, try the Danessa Myricks. And I realized I don't really have a lot of cream bronzers. Um, I have a lot of, well, I have a lot of bronzers, but I don't have a lot of cream bronzers. So I thought I would try this. I picked up the shade Light. Let's take a look. I ha this I have not gotten a chance to uh, play with yet. So, ooh, packaging is very cool. Black, there's like a little raised section here. And there's a little mirror on the inside, and here is the light bronzer. I was curious to see if it had any kind of sheen or anything. It's hard to tell when it's a cream, because sometimes it's just a reflection of the cream. And nope, I think this is just kind of a straight up bron ooh, straight up bronzer. This looks a little bit orangey on my skin tone. I mean, it is a bronzer, it's not a contour. That is very nice though, it kind of, kind of sets down to like a powder finish. Almost, almost. It's not dry looking at all, as you guys can see. There's a little very subtle kind of like creaminess to it there. Oh, that's lovely though. And it blends out very nicely, at least on the back of my hand. Oh, cool. So that is the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer in Light. I will definitely be trying this along with some other Danessa Myricks products that I have in a trying new makeup video. Definitely coming up soon. This is very, intriguing. I want to see what that looks like on my face. Anyway, so that is the cream bronzer. And then I also got the Mary Jane um, eyeshadow palette from Melt Cosmetics. And this, <laughs> this color story is, oh wow. This color story is so, is like so beautiful to me. So here's the packaging. Oh, neat. The glitter pieces in the Mary Jane, the, this is raised. I don't know if you guys can see that. All these letters are raised. It's like a plastic covering. And then there's glitter on the inside that actually moves. How oh, neat. So, so pretty. So there are 10 shades in here. We have a very familiar layout to other Melt Cosmetics palettes. We have a nice kind of array of satin and mattes and maybe some more glittery ones. Uh, but let me go ahead and do some swatches for you guys. I'm just gonna go from left to right here. So first we have Mary Jane, Gaspar, Sweet Lucy, Bamba, Sinsamia, Santa Maria, Rubia, Bo, Mari, 
and Cali. Wow, those look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am excited to try these. And a lot of people have already done reviews of this palette and I was watching, I think it was, yeah, I think it was Glitter Fallout. Linda, if you guys don't follow her, you definitely wanna follow her. She's a cruelty-free channel. Anyway, she did a wonderful uh, review and look of this palette. So I'm really excited to dig in um, and maybe I'll include this in a future trying new makeup video. Again, let me know. So anything I talk about today, please let me know if you want me to feature it in an upcoming video. Um, so that is the last of what I got at the Sephora sale. I really wanted to pick up some more perfume there, but I had forgotten that I had placed an order at Selfridges had gotten some perfume and it was taking a longer time to ship. Maybe they had to ship it ground. You can't ship it air, something like that. So when I was deciding whether or not I wanted to get more <laughs> perfume during the Sephora sale, this box arrived and I had forgotten that I ordered it. And I was like, oh, thank God this came on the last day of the sale and uh, reminded me that I definitely, well, I definitely don't need to order any more perfume full stop, but this reminded me to not purchase any new ones. So this is from Selfridges. I almost said Sephora. This is from Selfridges. Let me open up this box here. Okay, here is the actual Selfridges box and everything comes in this little Selfridges bag. And I ended up getting the Frederick Mall Portrait of a Lady perfume. So this was recommended to me by a very good friend. Um, she was even surprised that when I did my perfume collection video, she was like, how do you not have any Frederick Mall uh, perfumes? I was like, I don't know, <laughs> I need to fix this problem. So here is the box and it looks like it slides open. Yeah, here we go, slides open. There is the perfume. I'm really excited to try this. She was very, very keen on this. Uh, perfume. So I did get, I think they have a few sizes of this perfume. I think it is one of the more popular ones from Frederick Mall. So I got the size, the 50 mil. So here is the bottle. And is this magnetized? No, it's not magnetized. It just snaps on. Ooh. Ooh. This is very different for me, but I feel like it also like has a lot of notes that I like. They're just, I've never, I've never experienced them like paired this way. Oh, wow. That is really lovely. Let's see. Portrait of a Lady is a new breed of Oriental Rose, a Baroque perfume based on an accord of benzoin, cinnamon, sandalwood, and above all, musk, patchouli, and frankincense. It takes off with an excessive dosage of the best Turkish rose essence that Dominique Ropion, I guess he is the gentleman that created this perfume, linked to the rest of the formula thanks to a red berries and spice accord. It's intoxicating in the best way possible. Oh, wow. This is a very like memorable scent. This is one of those scents that if you wanna purchase to like remember something, like if you go on vacation, you're one of those people you like to kind of bring one scent to remember that vacation, or remember that moment. Oh, I feel like this would be perfect. Oh, wow. And now it's like kind of warming up my skin. Oh, wow. That is lovely. Wow. Well, a big thank you to my friend <laughs> that recommended this because it's different for me for sure, because it does have a lot of that frankincense and sandalwood and musk, which is not typically something I go for, but oof, it's really lovely. Wow. Oh, I'm so glad I picked this up. So that's the Portrait of a Lady, Frederick Mall. So those are all of the things that I purchased myself. Let's go ahead and jump into the things that I received in PR. Okay, this one I had to open up right away because it was from Hermes. And I, <laughs> I was just, you know, you open up the box and you see the orange, shopping bag. It's like, wow, am I dreaming? So they included one of their new blushes and they included the brush, the blush brush, and also one of the lip enhancers. So when I opened up this package and saw that they sent over one of the blushes, I went ahead and actually ordered the other seven. 
because I, I just, I really wanna play around with them. So the other seven are coming. I think they're actually coming today. So hopefully I'll be getting um, an Hermes blush review and swatches and all that kind of stuff. I'll be getting that up very, very soon. Um, so let me just show you what it is that they sent over. They included this beautiful, and I remember this when they sent over their lipsticks, this like beautiful book. They always have this like coffee table style uh, book um, kind of to go along with I, I guess all of their releases but look at this look at this book this book is actually really really heavy too the pages in here are really thick and it has this like rubber glued edging here so you can like tear things off so it's almost like one of those color reference art books or like a watercolor pad or something just so so cool and then look it has all of these like beautiful swatches of different rose colors, but isn't that so beautiful? I, I can't even imagine like what went into this. It's so incredible. Anyway, that is the book that came along with the makeup products, but let me show you the makeup products. Oh, but let me show you this um, engraved card that came along. Pink is for everyone. Isn't that great? I love that. All right, let's bust open this blush. So this is in the shade number 32, Rose Pomette. And I'm so excited to take a look at this packaging. So it has a magnetic closure. That's what it's telling me on the inside of the box here. So here's the, oh my God, perfectly orange box. And then, oh, and the blush is right there. Let's see. So here is the outer packaging. How? Beautiful. Oh, I see a little pin thing. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I, I saw a little like pin opening there and I forgot that these are actually refillable. That is awesome, much like their lipsticks. That is awesome. So here is Rose Palmette number 32. I love how the blush pan is actually set closer to the bottom. It makes a round compact look like it's oval. So pretty. Okay, let's do a quick swap. Ooh, very silky, my goodness. There is Rose Pomette. Wow, that's beautiful. So, so beautiful. That has a really lovely subtle satin sheen. Definitely not matte. No glitters or anything like that in there. Just, you know, as Hermes would be, just a very kind of elegant finish there. Ooh. And then they did send over uh, one of the lip enhancers. I think there's a couple. So they sent over the shade number 30, Rose Dete, D-E-T-E. -E. Let's open this up. Another perfectly orange box. The Hermes dust bag for the lip enhancer. Here is the packaging. Oh, look how pretty that is. That pink butters. That pink down there. So beautiful. So here it is in the bullet. Wow. There it is. So it's like a tinted balm, but it almost has like a soft matte finish to it. Oh, how interesting. I'm sorry, I can't tell if it has a fragrance. I'm, I'm gonna guess that it probably does, but all I smell right now is Portrait of a Lady. I think it has a, a, a faint uh, fragrance to it, like the lipsticks. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. Okay, well, I'm gonna save all swatching and everything for uh, my dedicated video to these blushes as soon as I get uh, the rest of the colors in. And then, oh, the blush brush. Let's check this out. It is an artisanal lacquered wood brush. Okay, let's see. So here is the handle. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. And it matches this lip enhancer <laughs> perfectly. Oh, that's so beautiful. And then it has this brushed metal ferrule. You know, it's gold, but it almost looks like a bronze. It's so pretty. And then as I understand it, I believe the hairs used in this brush are dyed goat hair, which is great for a powder blush because it picks up product really nicely. You know, this is definitely not the softest <laughs> goat hair brush I've ever felt. All of those um, handmade Japanese brushes like Sonia G, Wayne Goss, Refer, all of those uh, feel a bit softer than this brush. All right, so that is what Hermes sent over to me. A huge, huge thank you to Hermes for this package. I, you know, I still cannot believe that they would send me PR. So a big, big thank you to them. All right, next up we have something from, I believe, Hourglass. Ah, oh, yes, Hourglass. Oh, look at this beautiful box that they sent over. Hourglass. Oh, wow, they sent over their new Vanish blush sticks. Oh my goodness. Okay, 
Let me, they, there's some packing in here. Let me get rid of that. Oh my gosh, they sent over all of them. Holy smokes. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. It looks like they're, if I remember correctly, like their uh, stick foundation and it is gold toned, unlike their highlighter sticks, which are like silver toned. Uh, but I think other than that, the packaging is pretty much the same. So let me go ahead and swatch all six of these for you. Okay, not the best looking swatches, but I think you can get a good idea of the colors. So from top to bottom, we have Devoted, which is a dusty rose, Adore, which is a vibrant berry, Loyal, which is a rosewood, Sacred, which is a coral peach, Revel, which is a warm scarlet, and Wonder, which is a soft peach. These colors are really, really pretty. And the formula, it doesn't feel that emollient, so it's not going to be like a hot mess on the cheeks once you get it on. And it blends out really beautifully. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely gonna be trying these in an upcoming video for sure. Ooh, so pretty. Thank you so much, Hourglass. They also actually even included their um, Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Brush which is one of my favorite uh, synthetic haired foundation brushes. Let me show you the shape. It has like a little domed top there. So since I already have this brush, I'm actually gonna throw it into a future giveaway. Okay, next we have something from Retrouvé. So excited, can't wait to see. Oh wow, look how beautiful that, <laughs> that wrapping is. Oh, they sent over their latest product. It's their conditioning tonic with chamomile. They actually sent it to me in like a lab sample like two, basically, they wanted me to test it out and give them their thoughts. And I really, really enjoyed it. As you guys know, I'm a really big fan of like toner and tonics and that kind of step between uh, cleansing my skin and starting like all of my skincare. And um, I was a big, big fan of this. It has chamomile in there and it's a little bit more moisturizing than my average toner. I really like to use the La Mer, the tonic. That one just leaves my skin like perfectly balanced. Not too moisturized, not too dry. It just feels really like middle of the road. This makes my skin feel like just a touch more moisturized and it's lovely, especially for those days, those moments when my skin just isn't feeling that hydrated or I'm just feeling really, really dehydrated. Maybe I've been out in the sun a lot or I have been eating well, you know. So, oh, I'm so, wow, thank you so, so much. I really, really enjoy this tonic. It is lovely. All right, next up, I got something from You Beauty and You Beauty is a skincare brand that I think I think they're just skincare, um, but I've been seeing them a lot, kind of like popping up at different retailers, and I've definitely been intrigued, and I'm excited to see what they sent over. This is very exciting. So they sent over their resurfacing compound. I think this is like one of their really popular products. I'm not sure if I can use this because I do think there are some acids in here, but I've had I have to say I've had luck using products with acids in there, like AHAs and BHAs are, are the acids I'm talking about. So long as I don't use them every day, so long as I don't use them morning and night, but if I use it like maybe two or three times a week, just at night or something, it's been okay. But sorry, I'm not even sure if this is the product I'm thinking of. It has lactobionic acid, glycolic acid, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see if I'll be able to use this. I may, want to give it a shot. So that is one product they sent over. And then they also sent over their Super Hydrator, which, well, just by the way the name sounds, it sounds perfect for me. Ooh, it has squalane and shea butter in here. Some of my favorites. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you so, so much, you beauty. I cannot wait to try these products. Next up, I got something from Bobbi Brown. Oh, wow. Oh, what a fun package to open. So nice. Let's see, Meet the Weekend Glow collection designed to give you effortless radiant skin that will keep you glowing from work to weekend oh wow look they sent over like a little bag and a pen here's a better look at this bag what a pretty color and then all right we have the highlighting powder in pink glow this is a beautiful beautiful highlight and i believe i already have this if i do i'm gonna go ahead and put this into a future giveaway Gorgeous highlight. And then we have the Illuminating Moisture Balm in Bare Glow. I have been wanting to try this for so long and just have never gotten around to it. That is very exciting. 
And then they sent over, oh, their nude finish tinted moisturizer with SPF 15. Oh, how cool. And they sent over the shade Light Tint. So the active ingredients is a mixture of chemical and physical sunscreen. That's nice. Then, last but not least, they sent over their extra lip tint in bare pink sparkle. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh, look how pretty that is. Actually, let me swatch it. You probably can't see how pretty that is. Ooh, wow. Can you guys see the little sparkles in there? How pretty. Oh, nice. I'm not sure that I knew Bobbi Brown had like more than just one of these lip tints. I thought they only had one shade, but this is very pretty. Wow, thank you so, so much to Bobbi Brown. I cannot wait to try these products. Okay, we've got something from a PR company. Not sure who it's from. Got a, a bag inside a box. Hey, I'm 100% compostable mailer. Oh, and then a bag. Oh, nude sticks. Oh, cool. <laughs> nude sticks, go nude and save the earth. Oh, neat. Go nude, but better. This bag is made from recycled content. Oh, that's very nice. And then, oh wow, it looks like we have a recycled material card in here. Wow, very thoughtful of them. And this bag is made out of uh, oh, it says right here, this fabric is 100% post-recycled plastic bottles. I don't know if you guys can read that at the bottom. How cool. It says Heaven and Earth over here. Let's see what's inside. This is the Heaven and Earth set inspired by cotton candy skies, heavenly sunsets, and the strength of nature and humanity to always renew and rebalance. Cool. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, so we have three magnetic matte eye colors. Let me just show you the color bands there. So the purple one is Lilac Sky, and then the blue one in the middle is Oceania, and then this last one is Weed, that green color. Oh, how pretty. And then they also sent over, let's see, two of these magnetic plush paints. One is in the shade Love Cloud, and then one is in the shade Sunset Peach. Oh, how cool. So these are plush, luxurious, soft matte nudes in feather light blurring velvet texture that is non-drying, long wearing. I bet you could use this like on your cheeks or on your eyes. <gasps> Very awesome. And then last but not least, they sent over one of their nudies bloom. I think this is probably what they're most known for, these sticks of theirs. This is in Bohemian Rose. One side is a brush and then here is Bohemian Rose. Oh, wow. This is lovely. Thank you so much, Nude Six, and wonderful packaging. So thoughtful. And then something from True Fragrance Beauty. I've never heard of them. Let's open this up. Oh, this is actually from Lake and Sky. I guess True Beauty is a company that owns them or works with them. So this is a candle in Echo Lake. Individual, bright, optimistic, the perfect balance of floral and woody with notes of bergamot. They sent over um, a candle and a perfume of theirs and it was incredible. This was a few months ago. I feel like I hauled it during Mishmas. But anyway, you guys know I love, love a good candle. By the way, this portrait of a lady, I feel like it's becoming kind of uh, more masculine the longer I wear it, which I am definitely not opposed to. Ooh, here's the candle, nice frosted glass. Oh. It smells kind of like beachy and oceany, but with um, like a little bit of that bergamot. I definitely smell the citrus. What is that other scent? Oh, juniper. Juniper. Oh, wow. <gasps> this is wonderful. Thank you so, so much. Wait, there's something else in here. Oh, they sent over another one of their perfumes, Cote du Paradis. This packaging is so beautiful. Oh, it's like a little, it's like a little book. Here is the fragrance. Oh, very pretty. I don't know if I'll be able to smell it. That portrait of a lady is really lingering. Let me spray it over here. Ooh, ooh. It's very sweet. It's like sweet suntan lotion. Ooh, wow. Thank you so much, Lake and Sky. These are lovely and so summery. Very, very summery. Next up, I got something from the Detox Market, which is actually an online... Well, they definitely have an online presence as a retailer. I don't know if they have brick and mortar stores. Oh, right. Okay, so they sent over Cora Organics, this turmeric glow moisturizer. Oh, it's a refillable moisturizer. Oh, how cool. You could actually see it over there. 
looks like a little Nespresso pod that goes in. So it's a clean, certified organic, nourishing and ultra rich moisturizer with a custom liposome built to specifically target the appearance of pigmentation, dark spots, dullness, and fine lines and wrinkles. Um, help reduce waste by replenishing with a new refill pod. How cool. So I kind of forgot about this. They invited me to um, like, a, like a little master class kind of talking about this uh, product. So they sent it over to me, which is so nice. And oh, looks like they sent over some other stuff too. So here is the Turmeric Glow Moisturizer. Here is the Turmeric a Brightening and Exfoliating Mask, two in one. Oh, crystal. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Oh, this is a citrine. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. And then, last but not least, they also sent over, oh, like a headband. Oh my goodness, thank you so much to Detox Market and Cora Organics for this. This is wonderful and I can't wait to learn more about this uh, whole turmeric line. And then next, I got something from, oh, Kiki, over at Salt New York. Oh my God, you guys, I have been meaning to, for so long now, at least four or five months, do a video on my salt cream products, um, her bronzers, her blushes, and her highlights. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but this, I think maybe some new colors. Let's see. Michelle, my fellow Frenchton mama, Kiki, the owner of um, Salt New York, she um, just got a Frenchton and I was just like howling when I saw her Instagram feed because I couldn't, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe you have an actual Frenchton, like a half Frenchie, half Boston Terrier, which is what Miss Fuzzy Butters is. So I, uh, I was so excited for her. She just, oh, they're like so in love. Please enjoy the new limited edition Spring Dew um, Tangerine and Lilac. So these are Lip and Cheek Cream Tint Pros. And her packaging is so thoughtful too, because with these like individual pan style products, usually they come with like, you know, plastic, like clamshell packaging or something. And hers don't, they come in these like paper envelopes and when you open them up they have like a paper card to kind of cover the pan to protect it instead of that clamshell so it's just really really well thought out Ooh, this is tangerine oh my god let's do a swatch oh how pretty they're like tinted balms oh 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 boy that is beautiful i feel like it should smell like tangerine it doesn't um, and then let's take a look at lilac. Look at that purple. So we have a really warm color and then one that is a bit cooler. Oh, that is beautiful. And there definitely are not enough like purple toned blushes out there. They're so flattering if you're going for like a, more of a cool tone look. So beautiful. Thank you so, so much, Kiki. This is Wonderful, I cannot wait to use these. All right, next we have something from Aquas. You guys know how much I love my microfiber hair turbans. Oh, what? look at this box. It looks like a dryer. What's happening here? Oh, neat. So copper is the future, we're sure. Copper Shore Rapid Dry Hair Wrap. Woven with our trademarked Copper Shore technology, this antimicrobial material keeps your towel fresher longer so you can save water and time. That is amazing. Admittedly, I probably don't wash my Aquas hair wrap <laughs> as often as I should. So yep, just like their regular hair turbans, you put this like on the back of your head and then your hair lays in here, you twist this and then the button band goes over the button. Oh, it's so good. I cannot live without my Aquas hair turbans. I've definitely talked about these quite a bit. I even travel with these now. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you so much, Aquas. I can't wait to try this out. Thank you so much. Next, we have something from Jouer. It says, let's get glowing. Healthy skin starts here. Treatment oils, the secret to healthy glowing skin. Goodbye acne. So there's a daily clarifying treatment oil and then reverse the signs of aging. Daily repair treatment oil. There's the info there, the daily clarifying and the daily repair treatment oil. And this is what the bottles look like. It says chic new look, so I don't know if these are existing products in the Jouer line or we're just talking about like a chic new look in general for Jouer because I do feel like their labeling looks a little bit different. 
In any case, this is very exciting. I think the daily repair <laughs> treatment oil is calling my name. Oh, thank you so, so much to Jouer. It's also fragrance free, by the way, both of these are fragrance free. Lovely, thank you so, so much. Next, we have something from Josie Marin. And I think this is one of those cool boxes, like reusable boxes that you can ship back to the box company. I think, I think Ren Skincare um, was another company that used these boxes. Let's see. Yeah, they Velcro shut. And yes, hi, I'm Box, B-O-O-X. It's so cool. Anyway, uh, the Pro Retinol family keeps getting better and better. Oh, this is, this is great. So I've actually used uh, these products already. Um, they sent over an eye mask, which I love. I do use eye masks. And the Argan Pro Retinol eye cream is actually an eye cream that I've been playing around with. And I was a little, you know, kind of weary because I can't use retinol products usually. It's just too strong for my skin. But this one I believe is like derived from like natural ingredients. It's it's a little bit less, it's a little bit less harsh, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, it's it's a great, great eye cream and it's really, really thick. And that was another concern of mine. I thought it was going to be, I don't know, like pore clogging or something. Not at all. It's a great, great eye cream. Oh yes, so Pro Retinol, an ingredient derived from pink algae that's rich in beta carotene, a natural form of vitamin A. So maybe that's why it doesn't irritate my skin. So there is um, the eye concentrate. There is the whipped body butter. Um, this is great also, and then there is the Argan Beta Retinoid Pink Algae Serum. It's 2% Pro Retinol plus Quercetine. I'm not sure what that is. This I have not tried yet. So anyway, thank you so, so much, Josie Marin. This is very, very exciting, and I love that eye cream. And then whenever I see a hot pink box, I know it's <laughs> Grande Cosmetics. So let's see what they sent over this time. If anyone else were to jump on this hot pink box, thing I would be really thrown off <laughs> because I always assume it's grande. Ooh, achieve a plump pillowy pout. Grande pout lip plumping mask infused with Duraquench and Volulip. I think Volulip is something that they have like in their lip glosses and stuff. Oh neat, berry mojito flavor. Amazing. Okay, here it is. Grande pout and while I'm opening this, it is available at Grande Cosmetics and Sephora. Here is the packaging, Ooh, that's nice. And then it comes with like a little scoop up here. I have to smell this berry mojito. Oh, that's nice. The mojito part of it makes it really fresh. Ooh, that's lovely. And then they also sent over um, a little bath puff. I definitely need a new one. This looks like one of those bath bombs. It's lip shaped. Oh my God, that is hysterical. A little rubber ducky, so cute. This is so cute. Thank you so much, Grande Cosmetics. This is amazing. I cannot wait to try this. It smells so good. Well, that is it for this haul today. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Again, let me know down below in the comment section if there's anything that you want me to focus in on or include in a trying new makeup video. I will be sure to do that. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.